Welcome back to the comedy show. This is Jim. We've got Bill Burr up next with White Guilt. Yeah, I think it's something a lot of people struggle with. I'm more of a white relief person. I'm relieved uh, that I'm white because I can see how hard it is. And uh, we drive by, especially in my town, they are rough on the minorities here. And it is pretty terrible. But let's hear what... Um, Let's hear what Bill has to say. Like, subscribe, comment, you know. What should I watch next? What do you think of his take? Let's do this. I don't know. I rented that movie, uh, Pride, recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all-black swim team. And okay. the difficulties they had to go through being the first all-black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they going to make? <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. <laughs> run out of white guilt, you know? <laughs> no, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable, started off with roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I could barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil, okay? Please, please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. They still hitting them? Fuck, turn the channel. <laughs> this is gonna be on all week? Jesus Christ, turn the channel. <laughs> In the 80s, there was like a football movie, then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? And now... It's all the way down to swimming, and I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. <laughs> you know? I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's a recreational activity. <laughs> Plus, I've been in pools. There's been black people in the pool, you know? I never saw any white guy, like, trying to, like, fucking, like, prevent people from getting into the pool. <laughs> like, they're just, like, making this shit up. I'm not, I'm not being a dick here, either, okay? Just to clarify, you know, I just want to... Anybody coming up to me after the show like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it. <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't think black shit people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying <laughs> these movies, like the characters aren't even believable. Like they always have to have like that, the, the over-the-top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's a guy like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? He's like the dude they always have, like, screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> He's got, like, a big vein in his forehead. He's just screaming shit, look, not even looking around, you know? Oh, my God. Dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. Yeah, it it's is. subtle. People look around first. Make sure the, you know, they make sure the coast is clear. There's disclaimers, like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these yes. insert group names yes. followed by fucked up conversation, right? That's exactly it. That's how it goes down. It's not just some guy just standing up there. It's me, bro, in the pool. Do you approve of this? I work at the bank. Can I be fired immediately, please? I'm just saying, can you just make this shit, like, believable? You know what the honest thing is in those movies? They're starting to give me a complex. You know, because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? No Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that like itchy? <laughs> white dudes the only ones walking around, well, you guys don't eat cows? What are you a bunch of fags? Oh my God. <laughs> Just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? <laughs> you know, like, you know what I mean? You're hanging out, you had a rough day, you know? What are some of the classics? You know, what, smell like wet dogs, right? <laughs> you got headlights or something like that, right? Just, just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool! Wash your hair, motherfucker, Brenda. <laughs> Make it seem a little more... Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. Where the fuck do you go from there? We do, like, ping pong? <laughs> they were the first all-black ping pong team. They're gonna steal the paddles. Get <laughs> 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 My daughter's not playing ping pong! <laughs> Go out there and show the white man your bed, ping pong. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not saying. Uh, 
don't know, it's always just weird bringing this shit up, but... No, I'm not saying white people aren't evil either, because I know we're evil. I got that evil in me. And I do, I, that's why I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. I try to dress casual, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious, man, I tried a suit on the other day, I felt it coming up, like, fuck, man, I want to take over some shit, right? <laughs> I want to start telling people what to do. I want to go pollute a lake, blaming on my secretary, you know? <laughs> Dude, I don't even like those movies when they make black and white people get along, man. Even those ones seem ridiculous, you know? Because there always has to be, like, some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> it's like that never happens, you know? Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening has he, like, tried to, like, teach me how to dance, you know? <laughs> you know that interracial footloose moment they always have to have in those movies? <laughs> and I never go to his neighborhood and, like, try to, like, save a school, you know? <laughs> how many times are they gonna make that movie? You know that movie? The white person goes into the projects. They just have to make a difference. <laughs> you know, they just made that movie again with, uh, what was it, Hilary Swank? It's like, did you even need to go see it? It's like, let me guess, she shows up and they don't accept her, right? <laughs> and she goes home, she cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason, right? <laughs> and he convinces her, he convinces her to give it one more chance, right? So then she goes back down there, she starts drawing out their inner beauty. Next thing you know, they put a do-rag on her, she starts fucking dancing. <laughs> and it's just embarrassing for all races involved. For the love of God, stop making that fucking movie. Dude, the amount of times they made that movie, I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit, you know? Just be like, ah, that's Mike. Yeah, he saves ghettos. That's what he does, you know? I sit around, I watch Sports Center. You know, he's in the projects every weekend. Just writing his name on the blackboard. My name's Mr. Michael. All right, who threw that? Who threw that? It's just annoying after a while, you know? And it always fucking works out, too. Anytime the white person goes down there, I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down there the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him, you know? <laughs> just leaving all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? <laughs> Go down there, try to do something nice. I couldn't get a goddamn word in. It's a three and all prescription. <laughs> <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. So funny. Hit like if you've ever lost a pair of glasses or had them damaged, because those things are expensive. See you guys next time.